Right, question seven. So it does say on part A down here, look, it says use differentiation. Okay. Can't just assume this point just here. All right. Yes, it does look like what you think it's going to be, but we can't assume that. So use differentiation. So let's differentiate this to start off with. All right, what have we got? We've got dy over dx. It's going to equal 3x squared uh, minus 20x plus 27. Why are we using differentiation? Right, when x is 5, so sub in x is 5, then dy over dx would equal 2. So therefore, the gradient of this, the gradient of the line that we're looking for, must equal 2. And we also know the point it goes through. So now we can say um, y so minus minus 13. It's just the equation of a straight line. And then 2 times and then x and then minus the dx the value point that we know. And if we quickly play with that, we we'll get y equals 2x minus 23, right? Great. Now part B does say, hence verify that L meets C again on the on the y-axis. Now, yeah, that's fine now. We can just say, well, look, both C and L pass, pass through 0 minus 23. So they must be on the y-axis. They must meet just there. All right? Right, OK. Now, part C. Part C is a little bit tougher for us to do. It says, use algebraic integration to find the exact area of R. So we need to find the area in here. Right, how are we going to do that? Um, need to think, first of all, about a trapezium just here. And what you're going to do is you need to work out the area of this whole section here. And then you're going to take away that bit. Just that. Now it's below the curve, uh, below the x-axis. Um, so when you when you do the integration here, you're going to end up getting a negative answer. And that's that's fine. Let's first of all let's just think about this part here. It's, it's just a trapezium. That's 23. That's 13. That's five. Okay. So just just working out the area of a trapezium that gives me this this big section here to be 90. All right. So we now need to work out this section. In here. So remember, our answer is going to be 90, and then take away this part here. So that's going to be, we're going to integrate to the limits of 5, 0, and then put our function in, x cubed minus 10, uh, x cubed minus 10x squared plus 27x minus 23. But remember, when we do this, that's going to give us a, a, it's going to get a negative here. So when we combine these together, okay, then just need to think about how that's going to go. That's going to go there. We're going to get, when you do this, so working this bit out here just gives you, uh, that gives you minus Four, five, five over twelve. So obviously, then we're gonna remember that's a negative. So, so we're effectively we're, we're adding the negative. All right. So if we work that through, I know I've like missed a little stage there. All right. You can work that bit out. Check your answer there, and then you should end up with six two five over twelve. 